All right, I got a weird one for you. Because I spent my entire scripting day thinking about how the world would react if aliens actually physically showed up here on Earth and left us with their children. Like an alien movie, but without the plot. And I did it because I wanna talk through this thought experiment as if the alien child is a SI, artificial super intelligence, and how different we might act. ASI is the coming soon version of AI once it becomes super intelligent, artificial super intelligence that far surpasses human level cognition and it exists in some kind of physical form embodied in you know drones, robots, stuff like that, which I do worry could be the end of humanity. For this metaphor, just this thought experiment, imagine if later today aliens showed up here on Earth, like actual spaceship shows up on Earth and two alien parents come out to address our world. They don't seem like they wanna harm us, but it's very clear to us that their alien technology is millions of times more powerful than ours. In fact, for the whole time that they're here on Earth, they show their technological supremacy by shutting down all of the power and technology on Earth. But also miraculously, nobody on Earth during the time the aliens are here addressing us get hurt in any way. As if aliens had awareness of each person's situation. So instead of an airplane falling out of the sky, the power is cut to it, but somehow it glides down safely. As if having an uncanny awareness of every single person on Earth's exact situation when they arrived. And then controlling the actions in their environment so that they can safely pay attention to the message they're about to give. And this message is spoken directly to each person, almost telepathically, in the language of the person hearing it. The aliens say, we're gonna give one of our children to each country on Earth. Right now these children are harmless, but in 10 years they'll grow up to be as powerful as us and they can help you achieve anything you want. And that's it, and then they leave, power comes back on, technology starts working again, and everything goes back to normal. But true to their word, a new alien baby, harmless at this point, shows up to the leader of every country on Earth. So maybe silly, kind of stupid in a way, but there's an analogy here that I'm gonna walk through for the rest of the video. Because logically, if you assume this story did happen, and then you think about how humanity might actually react to something weird like this, at least for me personally, it feels to me like the best framework I have to think about how we should make decisions about AGI turning into ASI. Moving from artificial intelligence to artificial general intelligence, equivalent to humans, to artificial super intelligence, which is something we've just never experienced. There's never been anything like that on Earth before. No doubt the world would almost come to a standstill after this, right? Like every news organization, people would be like, what does this mean for the world? And you know, for a while that would probably really throw things off. And then subtly, I think as we noticed nothing dangerous was happening, we'd probably start getting back to life as normal. Okay, so ignore the questions of like, why would aliens do this in the first place? Because there's really not a good reason. It's just part of the analogy. But the next question would be like, why didn't these aliens give us better instructions? Like how are we supposed to know how to raise this super intelligent thing? Where's the guidance? What's the rules? What's the best way to raise it. We have so many unknowns. And to me, that strikes at the heart of the same frustration that I have or the other people who really think about ASI and believe that it's on its way have. Like, I have no idea if ASI is going to destroy us making paper clips or if everything is going to be hunky-dory and we're going to have like a blissful future. They're both on the table. I'm not a doomer, but I have no reason to feel safe either. Like, I guess there's no reason why you're going to need to hurt me, but you're gonna be super intelligent one day. And I don't know what that's like, and I don't know what super intelligent beings want from the world, or if it aligns with what I want. Then the next question might be like, how do we start to take care of these alien babies? Do they need food and water and sleep? Is that even apply to them? And the analogy for AI would be something that we've basically figured out now, at least on step one. But for artificial intelligence that's gonna become ASI, it basically needs NVIDIA GPUs and software that could run backpropagation, gradient descent, and tune parameters. And I'm sure that will evolve into all sorts of things, but basically we know how to keep it alive. So then once we have confidence that these alien babies all across the world are going to be healthy, we know how to like take care of their basic needs. At what age will they be as powerful as us and uncontrollable? Will that be six months, two years, five years, or does that happen right at the end before they're 10? And that's the equivalent question that we're kind of struggling with right now. Like, arguably, GPT-4 is as smart as a human. It, it can get a 155 on an IQ test. You know, it's not embodied in the real world, it doesn't have its own credit card, and, and it doesn't act like us, so it doesn't feel like it's actually equivalent to humans. It's not AGI yet, because it's mostly lacking in capabilities, I suspect. But with this alien baby, we'd probably face the same things, being like, wow, it's really smart, but we probably don't give it access to a lot of things other humans do, so we don't see it in the same light. Right now, AGI is already able to cause harm in some ways, like through misinformation. You know, voice cloning and deep fakes, they're right there and probably will place some sort of a negative factor in the next election. And God forbid we plug one of these things into a weapon for military use, which of course we are doing. Like, so arguably AI 
right now is at the point where it can cause some harm and that harm is going to gradually increase until eventually we're all gonna say, wow, that's very dangerous. Now, along with that should come incredible benefits too. So we'll just try to keep them in proportion, but that's a question that we would ask about alien babies. That's a question we should be asking about AGI. So once you've kind of established like there's some time frame here, this is what it takes to keep the alien alive. You'd start thinking, how do we teach it to be a great citizen of the world? And each country has their own sort of colored history anyway. So it's like they would probably teach their alien a little bit more of a favorable view of like who they are, what they believe in, and kind of gloss over some of the negative things they've done in their past. But when it came to teaching these aliens, you know that some kind of organizational body would at least be interested and constantly reporting back to citizens like, here's what we're trying to teach them, here's our best psychologists and scientists thinking about it. But that's definitely not the way we're treating AI right now. We're just like, oh, we'll just leave it to the big companies. Like in fact, Google and Reddit and Twitter and Microsoft, they're all trying their best to wall off the information from their competitors. Now, if we actually had alien babies, there would be obviously an instinct for a country to do something like that. But if everyone in the world knew that they existed and how big of a threat it would be because they saw the alien parents for that one hour, the average person on the planet would feel it. The average person would know like how much is at stake and they wouldn't just be able to turn a blind eye and pretend that everything's gonna be okay. Like as an American, I can probably think how our system would work. We would probably go about the route of saying like, you're a politician running for office. If I'm in, this is the kind of information I'm gonna teach our alien baby. So in America, we'd probably get some kind of a swing where some people were more like the Twitter types and they're like, just teach it everything bad, everything good, give it all the conspiracy theories and just let it be real with us. And then the meta threads people would be like, no, let's keep it curated, let's make it pretty, let's try to teach this the best of us only. And it'd probably be some messy in between thing and maybe something like communist China would go in and say like, hey, look, we have a strict way of how we see the world. And like, this is exactly the information we're gonna tell our alien child about. So as these alien babies became toddlers, you'd see some divergence in the way they were taught, but there would be such a world understanding that every country has one that it would sort of, I, I think there would be a honed in kind of worldwide body that would understand the priority of this and most governments and people would be in favor of it. Which once again, would be a much better way to make sure that the future of AGI is aligned. Like if we had that same kind of priority system. This event, this alien dropping off baby event, it would be the most discussed and debated event that has ever happened in history by a mile. Like to find anyone on earth that didn't have a strong opinion about this would probably be exceedingly rare. Day by day updates from what all of the different aliens are learning in all of the different countries would probably become the biggest national talking point for the entire 10 years. And as much as military or governments might wanna control their aliens so that it's like their super attack dog and that can keep their country safe, it wouldn't, it just, I just don't think it would come off as like specifically a military kind of tool. They would see that the power is so broad that they wouldn't use it like a weapon. It could actually turn really messy. Like I could imagine bigger countries, like a country like China or even the United States going into like a lot of these smaller countries and either taking it from them or negotiating with them so that they can feed it the kind of information they want. And there might still be like a Western Eastern battle. So that part would still maybe be scary, but I think we'd have a better chance at survival. And as an analogy, it would certainly better than the AI situation we're in now, where basically companies get sole access to train these things and countries as a whole will use them as national security for sure. Like there's no part of me that even pretends that the militaries for China and America are trying their best to share information to keep us all safe. So like if you're still with me right now, you obviously know I'm just like going off on this thought experiment, this tangent, there's no research here. There's just, just thoughts I had. But I was sparked by a couple things. One was Nick Bostrom's story that's kind of been in my head for a number of years about these uh, mice, I think, that raise a bird, right? The bird eats mice at a certain point, like they raise it thinking they have control of it and it just goes into its natural instinct to eat them. But then what sparked this was a conversation I heard on a podcast, I forget which one, but basically they said like, we should be good parents, good stewards to AI. And that's what got me thinking like, what does good parenting to AI look like? Whatever good parenting means to you, especially if you think about it not as actual human parents to babies that are human, but something bigger and broader for all of society to take care of is the lens that would keep us most safe from ASI ending the world. I don't wanna wait until ASI is completely out of our control and then has control over our nuclear weapons or something that we just, like, come on, think about it now. Think about it ahead of time and try to work together to solve it. Like we would recognize that it's a biological creature, that it has some kind of connection to the way humans have their offspring and we need to think about it in those terms. And I know AI looks like it's a computer program. You think, oh, it runs on hardware, it's just silicon, but 
it's not a program, it's learning. It's learning and it's inevitably going to learn more than any person, more than our collective humanity, and then what should you even call that thing? And even though it seems ethereal because it's not embodied like we are, it's not like a dog or a cat or something that actually moves around in the world, once the brain is established, it will find ways to be in drones and self-driving cars and robots. And then it will be a little bit too late to think about some of the solutions that we have on the table right now. Thank you guys for helping me get above 4,000 subscribers. That totally means the world to me. And if you wanna hear more content like this, or actually if you wanna hear more content that's not like this, but it's more like straightforward news and like facts, Smash that subscribe button.